how do you know in the unification process that you are really unifying? Every time you think a facet, you're unifying. That's it. It doesn't matter what happens. You feel peace. You feel stressed. Because it's not about achieving something in this moment. It's about healing the stress. Letting go of the stress. So it will change all the time. But then you'll start to feel something more permanent. You know, when you meditate, this is not meditation. It's like meditation, but it has a different function. When you meditate, the goal is silence. No mind, present moment, and then you stop and you continue with your day. The process with the unification is to remove everything. So, at some point, it becomes permanent. And that's why we keep using the facets with our eyes open. So we're more in the present moment. So we're focused on praise, love and gratitude. It's not about creating a story. It's about becoming empty and having an experience. You know, because with a lot of meditations, it's very easy to connect. You know, they, you're going to see a golden flower and the Buddha's going to come from behind and you can see the candle. And I'm peaceful. And it's good. But this doesn't have the same objective. This is cultivating perpetual consciousness. And it's constant. You'll see. Because your mind will start to get addicted to the facets. It loves this experience. You know, they say the mind's like a monkey looking for the perfect banana. This is the perfect banana. <laughs> yeah? But just keep doing it. And you're obviously an intellectual person too. You know, for intellectual people, it's sometimes a little bit more difficult in the beginning. But you're also a Latin intellectual, so you'll <laughs> drop into your heart. Huh? Come visit our webpage for books, movies, and our wonderful retreat centers. Isha's simple yet powerful system is transforming lives around the world. <laughs>